There is a loud ass train outside my apartment right now. I don't know if the mic can pick it up, but god damn, that's loud as shit. God damn. Apologize if you hear a loud ass train or squeaking in this video. There's a train right outside my apartment complex and nothing I can do about it. But let's get on with this Halloween. Three. Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is the third movie in the Halloween franchise and obviously it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. When both John Carpenter and Deborah Hill approached the studio making a third movie, they were very clear on one condition, that the film could not be a sequel to Halloween. Two, because John Carpenter clearly was very clear like he wanted to move past Michael Myers and want to be done with it and wanted the series to be an anthology series however you know looking back on it he probably both him and Deborah Hill didn't know what you know, they're grasped with with this amazing franchise that people have come to love and you know just wanting more of it and it kind of backfired in the end like during what news we came out in 1982 and it backfired it didn't do so well people hated it because they wanted Michael Myers and you know in recent years the film has been a little bit cold following because it was looking back on it the film was like kind of being misinterpreted and mistreated you know should have been treated his own thing and just i don't know people want michael myers and because of that this movie was like bombed down basically let's get in with the fights so apparently joe dante was originally supposed to direct the film but obviously tommy lee wallace came on board Carpenter had had met with joe to direct it he directed you know gremlins i you know, everyone knows what gremlins is it's a great christmas movie and horror movie and so again dante was supposed to direct it however I believe, let me see here, Steven Spielberg and John Landis offered Dante a chance to direct the Twilight Zone movie. So because of that, the production following three was on halt and Dante left the project to accept the Twilight Zone, leaving Wallace to take the director part. So yeah, director of Gremlins, maybe, I don't know, maybe the, the masks would have been a bit more furry or something. Oh, you know what I saw? The song, the, the silver song, the ad playing this movie is so catchy. Man, no, 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 hello. Like, god damn, it's so catchy. Like, I can hear the song playing in my head right now. But anyways, from here, it says that the true song and sort of the, the jingle behind it is London Bridge is Falling Down, obviously. Apparently, it was done intentionally. They had a free news to use it without paying anyone royalties. That's awesome. Nowadays, you kind of have to do that. But this one, they just were allowed to use the song freely. I wish, you know, the YouTube policies can do that. But so anyways, I should probably give you a background on this movie. We have this doctor named, I, oh god. Basically, we have this doctor who sees this guy liquefied i think his whole body's being liquefied and being killed by these these men in black suits and so because he sees that in his hospital he works there he goes back to his family tells him he loves them blah, 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 typical stuff till he meets this girl named ellie and uh, her father was covered by one of these people and they want to find the corporate behind this and so you know he does have an affair with this young lady apparently he wanted to like le leave his family but this is sort of pushed him to be like you know i want to cheat on my family but anyways there's been theories all around who are android wanting people to be turning into androids or whatnot well not that but, but she was replaced by an android later in the movie and there's been a lot of theories on if, if she was a real person from the very start now i don't necessarily believe that if she was a android throughout the whole movie that would i don't know kind of be redundant because that mean he would have been playing all along basically which uh, i guess sort of is good for like the very unknown and seemingly tragic end to this movie but i don't know who knows Man, I'm not, it's just, it, it's, it is just like a lot of speculation and fan theories so not only did people hate the ending of the movie but the the studio also hated the movie as well the the movie ending leaving the doctor you know saying telling people to turn off the ads to saying stop it turn it off turn it off i think and le leaving it unknown i mean whether he saved people or not depends on you know the audience apparently like, people and the studio didn't like that apparently they didn't like cliffhanger ending like that i think you know leaving it unknown can be good like i'm gonna compare this to uh, like the walking dead right the, the season six ending where a bunch of people were pissed off where they had to wait like months to find out who ne 
getting killed which i didn't mind like granted okay sure you have to wait months but like it's what builds like like you know it like builds up your excitement for the next season to go rewatch it again sure waiting sucks but you could wait like four months like i don't know the whole thing was kind of ridiculous to me but i, I guess just to compare that to this halloween uh, situation because not only was there no myers but the movie it was like a weird anthology series and the movie in a cliffhanger there's no definitive end so i don't know it seems like both Deborah hill and, and carbino were i, I don't want to say hurt but they're like it's as if like again like i said earlier they didn't know what they had at the time they had this iconic character michael myers and they just wanted to move past this like hey this is just kind of a, a one-off let's change it up but people were down with that sadly so not only did this company silver shamrock have a cool ass song a catchy song they have i want to say cool masks but they it's a generic like mask honestly it's a, the pumpkin one the green face goblin one and like the skull one i mean they're just generic you know they're not anything special sure i want them but i'm not in a rush to get them they're just kind of shamrock masks you know just there to consume uh, kids heads by the way that scene where the ads playing and they have like a little thing behind the, ma the mask and it shrinks the kid's head and like bugs and snakes and animals starts crawling out that was pretty creepy the movie by itself even without the halloween like association is a really good and scary like movie and i guess people back in 1982 just couldn't get down with that because they want to admire so much but this movie on its own is like pretty good and just with the masks and the, and the evil company corporate company right this evil hierarchy is just like trying to prey on people on this holiday i thought that you know pretty cool the downside is that i think this movie has the same problem as halloween 2 where it's a bit boring at parts like this whole affair with the young lady i, I don't care about so he sleeps with her like twice in this movie it's like i don't i don't care and it feels like they should have bring him back around with her being turned into an android and it's i don't know man that was kind of boring to me not gonna lie these men in black i should have said men in black but but they're in suits they're creepy obviously they're androids so they kind of have to act very robotic but i was like eh. all right i get why they have to do that uh tom uh, atkins he plays pretty good uh, in this role right he's just kind of he's not a typical kind of hero or like character but he's a likable pr uh, protagonist he's you know doing what's right but also like cheating and having an affair with his, his wife and wanting to leave his family which by the way he just like calls him randomly on a payphone and he just kind of goes away by the way like randomly too he's like hey uh i'm gonna leave with this girl totally does not sound so suspicious at all so yeah by my mic is like cutting off or like what i'm seeing right here is like slowly oh god i hope the audio doesn't mess up hopefully the audio is fine hopefully and then when this little girl and tom apkins characters get into this town immediately they get like eyed on right the people in in the stores uh, the men in, in suits behind in the shadows again not myers in the shadows but the whole like shadow thing in the background stays consistent even if myers is not in the movie this movie has that in the shadows lurking in the backgrounds again just consistency throughout this whole series they feel like after this after they get in town they go into a motel again this is a fair thing i god i don't care about like it's what drags the down the movie down for me honestly it's something i don't care about please get back with these masks and, like just get back to like the masks killing these kids and like this corporate thing please and these androids please but we still have to spend time with you know this young girl or something i don't know okay and then after that she gets like taken away right ultimately turned into an android and like we see tom atkins character she kind of just run around too that part didn't mind at least something's going on it's progressing the plot and the story he gets there and he gets into the sort of company and it's this old guy this old like evil looking ass motherfucker where he just looks evil as shit and yeah he's just i don't know i i really don't remember his line he's like we're doing this to save people or something oh what happened down my nose hold on i forgot i completely forgot uh speaking of the androids i like how they're gooey i think there's one scene where he like punches one in the stomach or something it's super gooey even though they're androids it's like oh this is both disgusting but also awesome at the same time where it's like they're all gooey inside that, that was awesome to see and then you know he, he gives them the expression of all oh, the masks making like kids die on, on halloween night <laughs> it's very dark and then you know tom Atkins saves the the young girl while they're driving she's kind of being robotic and he turns to him turns out she is robotic he like has to like kill her which i think he does and so you know he's sad about it you know not only did he leave with this girl he for some reason liked this girl or supposedly loved her and cheating on his kind of family but yeah and then he starts running just like the guy in the very beginning beginning oh how do i for how do i miss this the intro or opening for this movie is awesome the music in the background from officer john carpenter is matching up to the lines of the opening
awesome one of the cool openings of out of this like series or uh, is it the best opening you know i think it is i think it beats halloween 4 halloween 5's opening where the lines are matching up with the music in the, in the background but speaking of what i was getting on earlier in the beginning we see this guy running from these men in suit so that's what happens to top akin's character where he starts running like in a dark road and is being chased he meets this guy i think the same guy the fuck was that oops that was my phone he meets the same guy in like the beginning in the gas station i think right he goes there he like runs back to get makes a phone call there's like i think three kids are watching the ad with masks on so he's like i'm forgetting the, his line but it's like turn it off i think turn it off turn it off turn it off with the phone in his hand and yelling 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 and that's how the movie ends and it's on a cliffhanger leaving his faith and everyone else's faith unknown you know what, did, did he save the people or not that's up to you to decide and people back in 82 hated that so that sucked uh, i do feel like this movie was being mis mistreated and sort of just kind of left under the rug and luckily has built a cult following i don't i don't love it there's people who love it i get why you love it let, let me rephrase it i get why people love this movie because it's really good o on its own without again the halloween franchise looming in the background it's a really good like a horror movie however i just for me personally there's some really boring bits like the whole affair thing the whole liking this young girl oh, i don't care about that don't care same problems with this one like Halloween 2 i don't know if i hmm that's interesting when, when i rank these don't know which one to put on top that, that's gonna be interesting to see but yeah luckily i'm glad that this film has built a cult following because i think it deserves it i don't think it deserves all the hate and the mistreatment back in 82 for a very long time again only recently has the film built a cult following which is great also thinking about it now it would have been interesting to see this franchise would have been like if there was no uh, michael myers let's say if people love this movie and it made a lot of money right and both john carpenter and deborah hill pass it on or if they wrote a couple more movies ask more people to direct their right for them it would have been interesting what they would have come up with because obviously it would have been way different we had no more michael myers michael myers would have been very prevalent would have been as popular as he is now so it would have been interesting to see what would have been if after the success okay what if success of Halloween 3 what Halloween 3, 4 5 6 onwards would have been like there could have been so many possibilities because as someone who loves horror anthologies i really would have liked that but obviously you know michael myers is iconic right people love him people know him because it's halloween so i mean i guess this movie i guess you could say that this movie bombed and failed for the right reason okay i don't think not for the right reasons but i guess it, it, in order to how should i phrase this because of its failure bomb or not be, not being successful michael myers has risen up again and people got what they wanted you know they, they got myers back so that's that granted not everything myers has been good after this but we'll get to those <laughs> we'll get to those you guys don't know what i'm what, you know, what i've been talking about but yeah halloween 3 season of the witch is still pretty good don't know if it's better than halloween 2 obviously halloween 1 still the best but it, it's still pretty good next on the 24th will be halloween 4 the return of michael myers